Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Tuesday, August 6, 2019. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Well, we start off this morning on a very foggy note with locally dense fog developing throughout the Delaware River Valley and New Jersey coast, reducing visibility at times below a mile in some locations. Same thing on Long Island, re visibility reducing below five miles in many locations as we have an area of low pressure right along the coast, right around the Delaware Bay, and that's driving in tropical air into the coastal plain. Meanwhile, some very impressive heavy rainfall off the coast that is lifting up towards Long Island and towards Connecticut and skirting the New Jersey coast. And then later on, we're going to watch out for scattered showers and thunderstorms this afternoon as a trough passes through the region. We take a look at our surface map. It's really convoluted. We got a area of low pressure right around the Delmarva. We have another one around North Carolina, a trough back towards the eastern Great Lakes. And then here we have our cold front that will be moving through for tomorrow with widespread showers and thunderstorms. So there's just low pressure systems and troughs and frontal boundaries all over the place, keeping our weather pattern very active. So once the fog gives away, then we're going to watch out for scattered showers and thunderstorms. Meanwhile, heavy rain will be passing just off the coast and moving through portions of Long Island. And we can see that very clearly here on the latest satellite pitch. Now remember, the lighter the colors, the colder the cloud tops, the colder the cloud tops, the higher up in the atmosphere those clouds are, and that means strong lifting. Stronger lifting, the heavier the rainfall. And as you can see, those cold cloud tops are heading right towards Long Island, so that's pretty much where we're going to see some heavy rainfall. We also see some colder cloud tops starting to develop right around Baltimore and just to the north of their suburbs, so we're going to definitely watch out for some scattered showers and thunderstorms developing over eastern Pennsylvania and spreading towards the coast this afternoon. So a lot to talk about, so let's dive into this forecast. For today, locally dense fog will give way to scattered showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Look for highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast, mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley and over the interior. For tonight, look out for scattered showers and thunderstorms giving way to areas of fog towards tomorrow morning, lows in the lower 70s. By tomorrow afternoon, a stronger cold front, the first of three, will be moving through. Look for widespread showers and thunderstorms. These thunderstorms are going to be capable of some very heavy downpours, frequent lightning, small hail, wind gusts over 40 miles per hour, possibly pushing over 60 miles per hour, so you can't rule out a severe thunderstorm. Overall, a very stormy afternoon. Look for temperatures for tomorrow afternoon to rise into the lower to mid 80s on the immediate coast, mid to upper 80s everywhere else. For Thursday, our second cold front moves through. Not as many thunderstorms because the atmosphere starts to lose some of the moisture, but still capable of packing quite a punch. Look for temperatures to range from the upper 60s for lows and lower to mid 80s for highs. On Friday, the final cold front moves through with more of an isolated threat in the showers and thunderstorms. Look for lows in the upper 60s to lower 70s, highs in the lower to mid 80s. Behind this cold front, a crisp, cool polar air mass will be invading. We're talking about lows on Saturday morning in the mid 50s to lower 60s. It is going to feel amazing out there. Sunny skies on Saturday afternoon with highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. On Sunday, same setup. Look for lows in the mid 50s to lower 60s, highs in the upper 70s to mid 80s. On Monday, that high pressure system starts to push off the coast. We get more of a southwesterly wind, so that's going to lead to lows in the lower to mid 60s, highs in the mid to upper 80s. And then on Tuesday, a cold front moves through with some isolated showers and thunderstorms. Again, we start to move back into an active weather pattern. So look for lows in the lower 70s and highs in the lower to mid 80s. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino, and as always, stay safe out there.